Right then folks, welcome back to another video beer review. Today we're going to be coming out of Carnival and it is a Maple Swoon. Big thanks to Mr Mersey Beers for this one. I have actually had this beer before, um, both a taster and on draft, both would have been um, on draft. Um, back on 9th of July 2021, that's when I went up to Liverpool for like my birthday a couple of years back, which isn't the 9th of July, but anyway... Um, close enough. Um, I think the next day, England were playing in the Euro final. Or it might have been the day after. Euro final against um, Italy. Anyway, I remember getting the train. It was the one and only time I've ever got the train to Liverpool from here. And I remember getting the train back into uh, well, Reading. And Reading being utter chaos because you had all the trains going to Wembley. Um, or going to London, trains going to London, and loads of football fans over. It was utter chaos. I remember that day. Um, but we had Carnival. Uh, we had Carnival Tap. Um, had this on draft, and then I gave it a four point two five out of five. Obviously, this is a new can, not from that batch. Um, then you wouldn't wouldn't really put it past me because I have had ancient beers on the channel before. Um, but this was a can that was kindly given to me by Mr. Mersey Beer, Mr. Adam, um, on my most recent trip up. So let's see how this fares against my previous uh, times of having it uh, and see how it is. A firm can. Should be fine. Um, kind of one of those breweries for me that I just don't see them anywhere other than Liverpool um, I think there has been a time where there have been some swaps and whatnot um, but that said you're never going to find them locally where it's just cask cask and more cask and the cask is yeah <sighs> for fuck's sake um, cask cask and more cask Jamie's thinking I was falling down or something just banging the, the uh, beer on the top um, yeah, smells like maple, like a fizzy maple, brown sugar, 7.2% as well, brown sugar, maple, molasses, coffee, there's a cola cube element of it as well, which is very odd, just smells very strange, we'll dive in, cheers. That is odd. You definitely get the maple on the back end. It's brown ale, is what it is. It's I should have read the actual can. It tells you a bit more about it rather than the story. Burn barrel age blend American brown ale with maple. 7.2. Um, that's about all it tells you. It's just a very, I'd say, a confused ale. Because it's got dark chocolate, kind of toffee, light smokiness. The maple comes in and it's lovely. But it feels like the maple is attempting to hide an awful lot because there's an awful lot of chaos going on in the rest of the beer. Um, what I'd really be looking for in this would be something that's quite, well, not necessarily clean, but cleaner than the flavours I'm getting. Um, It's got a lot going on, and stuff in general it doesn't seem to work together too well, which is a real shame. Um, that cola cube note again, I'm getting it's just a bit overcarbed, and yeah, it's for me, it's not the 4.25 that I had all those years back. Um, and unfortunately, that's a bit of a mess for me. Um, absolute chaos sale, maple swoon from uh, Carnival. Um, Probably be better on cask or keg if they do it in that format, but um, yeah, not for me this one. Real shame. Anyway, see you next one. Cheers again, Adam. Cheers.